Hello everyone, today I will explain how to capture features based on existing vector objects when drawing lines or polygons. The tracing mode is mainly used when drawing vectors, requiring partial or complete overlap of nodes between multiple vector objects. Using the tracing mode makes feature drawing more convenient. To trace a vector line, first switch the layer to the line layer, and then activate the add line function in the vector editor tool. The shortcut keys displayed in the upper left corner of the 3D windows are T for tracing mode, S for drawing arcs, and V for back point. We can capture line features in the point cloud as usual. When capturing at certain location, it is required to overlap with existing road boundary lines. At this time, users can use T to switch to tracing mode, and then click on a starting position on the object to be traced. Move the mouse along the line to be traced, and the vector nodes will be automatically captured. During the entire tracing process, there is no need to manually add nodes. During the tracing process, you can right-click to cancel the current tracing. Note that canceling will not only clear the trace nodes, but also exit the tracing mode by default. If users only want to cancel part of the tracing, please move the mouse backward during the tracing process to backtrack the traced nodes. When users need to stop tracing, simply click the left mouse button at the ending position and it will automatically switch to normal drawing mode. The above is a simple tracing of a vector object. If users want to trace multiple vector objects, there will be various situations such as whether the original vector objects are connected or intersecting. In this case, there are different operations with the mouse during the tracing process. In the first case, if two lines are not connected at the switching point, Please click the left button at the switching point first to complete the tracking of the first segment. Then click T and click the left button again on the adjacent line where users want to switch and continue tracking the second line. In the second case, if the two lines are connected or intersected at the switching point, please move the crosshair to the connected line and continue tracking. Please do not click the button during the tracking and switching process. Finally. Click the left mouse button to end the current tracking. After drawing the line, double click the mouse to complete the collection of the line object. By using the pick function, users can view the collected lines and their corresponding information. Similarly, when tracing a polygon vector object, switch the current layer to the polygon layer first, then activate the add polygon function in the vector editing, which is displayed in the top left corner of the 3D window as a shortcut. When collecting polygon features and encountering the need to align with existing vector object edges, the tracking operation is the same as when collecting lines by tracking existing vector objects. Finally, click the left mouse button to end the current tracking. After drawing the polygon, Double click the mouse to complete the collection of the polygon object. Above is the explanation of the feature collection tracking mode when drawing lines or polygons based on existing vector objects. Thank you for watching.